Good morning, everybody. We got Jason, Mitchell, and Mia. I ain't talked to y'all all morning. We have got a lot of pigs. This is gonna be a new record. How many is in there, Mitchell? He says about 25. We don't know. It's a wad in there. We're gonna count them as we uh, pull them out. That's all I know to do. Here's a little action. All right, here we go. Back over at Mitt's place in the daylight. That's what I like about it so much with this big wad of hogs. They just coming and coming from everywhere. We're, uh, we're pretty sure we started off with a group of 15, and then there's two that's by theirself. And uh, Mitt called me. He actually got the notification before I did, and I got it right after he called me. So I get going on there, and then we get on the phone, and we watching, watching, and trying to count. Very hard to count with this many pigs. And uh, got that one over to the right. Um just really what we're wanting to do if all 17 of them do not get in there we want to make sure at least we get the 15 in there and hopefully the two is not close by watching because we want to get them later uh, from what i've learned with all this hog trapping if you got a group running together they used to being around each other rooting around together you can catch them and when you get the some others coming in there, that's when you get into them running in and out of the trap and all that stuff. So these look like they've been around each other for a long time because they they get along pretty good. They may run out of there every once in a while, but it's because of something else. It's usually not because of one that's with them. But we're talking and trying to count and seeing if the others is going to show up and these, uh, they're fighting just a little bit, but not just bad. And boy, Mitt knows it too. He knows my trigger finger's getting itchy watching all these hogs. And I let Mitt make the call here in a few minutes of uh, when he wants to drop it because trapping on his place. And I know we're going to get to catch some pigs. So we, uh, I'm really worried that it, it is hard to catch this many at one time, but... They're getting in there better, and you kind of just have to look and look and watch. That one keeps kind of getting rooted out by the other, so we're kind of waiting on it to get in there. And then one walks out, and two try to walk out, and then they come back in. You kind of have to, kind of have to watch them all. And when they kind of first get in there and settle, and going to eat for a second, when you kind of have to drop or kind of gamble on it anyway, but. I am really getting ready, but that one's kind of cautious. When that one goes down starting eating, that's when we kind of got to get ready to drop because the rest, they ain't even hardly picking their head up. But we bout for sure that we got all 15 in there and then them other two, we're just hoping they're not close by watching. All right, drop time. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Bam. It's a little slow delay because of my service, but not. We don't know how many's in there, but we know whatever was there got caught. None of them got away. They ramble around a little bit, but not bad. And then they they starting to settle down a little bit, trying to climb and this and that. If it wasn't for that jump ring, you'd lose a lot of hogs. That was a that was a good design on that trap. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. That's a pretty good design there. That's a lot of pigs and. And then later we video we one of them come up so he didn't this in here didn't see it drop or he probably wouldn't be up there watching so we know we know there's two more out there and then here's over at our trap got one in the middle and then one in the background that wouldn't go in so we got some more trapping to do there in time they'll both get in there eventually i've got a picture of them both in there i just hadn't been up awake when they was both in there but we'll get them them ain't going there once they start and you keep that corn there they ain't going nowhere plus we already got a heck of a catch over at mitt's place and these traps are miles apart but uh that one's getting close over to the right now i'm kind of looking around and scrolling around and make sure it ain't nothing else but back in the hog action that one's curious, but he going to get in there. We're going to catch both of them. they both fairly good-sized hogs. I don't think they're a monster hog. 
that camera angle fool you a lot of times. It does me, I know that. One's happy. You talking about perfect size, man. Yeah, we're trying to jump. Yeah, we're trying to jump. They're like gold. What a water pigs. Yeah, yeah. Time for backup. Yeah, gotta get the pistol out now. Four turns. That's a lot of pig. That's a lot of pig, Mitchell. Mitt, I got the laser on the pistol. He cheating show sure enough now. Golly at the pig. Man, that's a lot of bacon. All right, we're gonna load the wagon now. Mick gonna have to get him a trailer. Hey, boy. We got to send him the track supply. All right, Mitchell's back ain't hurt, but I done had surgery, so I get to watch this part as I hate it. We are fixing to see how many hogs a ranger can I hold. Need a back glass so we can just slice time to it. That's some good eating there. How many's in there, Mitchell? About like 26 or 25. 25 now? <laughs> Golly, that is a stack of pigs on there. You going to school today? Going to poop. You going to school today? Hey. Hey, you going to school today? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make it back without losing one or not. All right, me and them taking care of the pigs. That was a load of wild hogs. My goodness, that's my new record catch. I think the most I had ever caught before was 12, and that was 15. We'll have to remember that. I did just a little much yesterday fooling with that feeder feeler and I can feel it. Golly. <sighs> Might have to pay attention. I was paying attention. I just didn't think that would be too much raising that uh, spout of it or whatever you want to call it. But uh, it was. I'm going to have to kind of cool it today and pay attention. But anyway, I'm headed down to Mississippi. I'm probably going to end up doing a little bush hog. I'm on the highway here, kind of easing along. I'm going to get to my Bible verse today. This is, uh, let's see. I write, if I see something when I'm kind of studying at night, it really hits me. I kind of I make a note on my little piece of paper with my verse. All right, today's coming from. We're still on the word evil. Today is Proverbs 6, 18. I got a Bible app on my phone. This is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, 6, Proverbs 6. All right, how'd you get to 3? Let me scroll over. This thing's easy to operate to. All right, we are Proverbs 6, verse 18. 
but I'm going to jump back up to verse 16. It says, there are six things which the Lord hates. All right, and then I'm going to come on down to uh, verse 18 that's got our word evil. It's Proverbs 6, 18. Uh, a heart that devises wicked. Let me start over. I run off the road. I shouldn't be doing this on the road, but I am. I ain't going by 50. Oh, uh, Proverbs 6, 18. A heart that devises wicked plans. Feet that run rapidly to evil. That's what God hates. One of the things that God hates. A heart that devises wicked plans. Feet that run rapidly to evil. What about that first part? A heart that devises wicked plans. You got to pay attention to that. Not just this day and day and time. It's been going on since not long after creation. But anyway, let's ease on down. See what we can get into. All right, y'all. Get some fuel in the 5101. Got the Rhino. Seven foot bush hog hooked up. Gonna go try to work on some roads and some fire lanes. Some of this stuff we just get one time a year. Alright, these roads in here is pretty tight. Absolutely crazy about this setup, especially with the lever down here. Just pretty not as easy to fool with as what we used to. Got a little cold 22 in case you see a snake. But ain't a whole lot of this right here that we gotta do, so this right here will serve the purpose and we'll get it done anyway. This ain't the smoothest setup. Got a hydraulic issue going too. It keeps won't get smooth. But anyway, this, this cutter will cut. That's for sure. Doing what we needed to do. He's right through here. It's a lot in there. DJ don't mind. She's trying to bark and grab all the limbs. But we're gonna make it work. Not many of these, but a couple of these old trails here is wide enough for uh, right now for about a cutter and a half. So I'm going to keep them as wide as I can because they're going to grow over. We're going to need these one day when we start burning. The wet right there. When we start burning and everything. And as these trees get bigger and we start thinning, we'll use these roads walking in on turkeys and hang a tree stand and all that good stuff so try to keep them up for the future this road right here i could definitely get with the big cutter but decided while i was up here i was just gonna go down it and come back that'd be 14 feet that'd be plenty exactly how old these trees are but they probably be I don't know Golly, I can't remember how old they are maybe eight years old so you're looking at another seven eight years old before they thin them I hope I live to see these things thin keep these roads up right here this will be a uh, turkey killing spot up here. Guarantee you they're gonna like this up here. Alright y'all, I let PJ run around for a little bit. Got her up for a little while. Going down to the house for a minute and cool it hurting a little bit in the center of my back uh, I think we're gonna be all right I just gotta gotta relax a little bit and not push it I'm kind of a little over my uh, half a day today but we didn't push it too hard just rode the tractor a little bit uh, 
like I said, it'll let you know when you do too much and kind of learning what I can and can't do and not gonna push it, but it's gonna be some pain. We're still just, we're not even a month in this deal, so we gotta get over some soreness. But anyway, I gotta go get Cody here in just a little bit. And if it don't rain, we're supposed to have ball practice today, but we'll see about that. Anyway, maybe we can catch some more hogs tonight. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.